I will be there. So, yeah. But before that, Friday, I will be at Haylove in Prince Edward County. I can't wait to see you, sis. Oh my god, yes, and I'll be performing with Carazon Saturday. Maybe I miss you on TV. I miss myself on TV too. <laughs> Hi, Queen. Hello. Quebec City, I will be there too. Yeah, I will be in La, uh, La Drag. Is that what you call it? La Drag. Prince Edward. Uh, no, Prince Edward County. Uh, Kimberly Curtin for All Stars, baby. You know what? Hashtag it. <laughs> Versus the world with fears. I would love to. I would love to be in the same season with fears. Will you be a drag on UK? I won't be. No. I'll be in Asia. I was already there last year. Will you be doing a wine tour? Maybe. I mean, I don't drink, but I can try to like sell you some wine. You look like a young Cindy Crawford. Is that a compliment? <laughs> I don't know what she looks like. Forever obsessed with your lip sync to run away with me, but come. Baby, take me to the feeling. I'll be a sinner and sing. I was literally just listening to it like three minutes ago. Because it played like out of nowhere. And I'm like, hmm, wow. What a memory. So, yeah. Yes, see, gorgeous Cindy. She's a model. Oh! You fears Jasmine Kennedy, Lucy, Mistress, I need it. That would be a great cast. I had Georgia's. I want to lip sync against her so bad. I don't either. Yet there are some lovely vineyards in Prince Rundry. I know. Uh, the Rev lip sync was equally iconic. It was. I love Rev. Would you would love to see an all stars, baby? You, I would love to see myself an all stars too. <laughs> you know what? If I get a call, I will get a call. But if I don't, then like, baby, I can't do anything about it anymore. What's a Filipino dish that you're craving right now? Oh my god, I'm craving seasick. Like, literally, like, bitch, I was thinking about. There's literally a restaurant, like, two blocks away from me that sells seasick. But I'm a queen, what do you mean? Like, I don't like walking. So. And they don't do delivery, so I guess I'm just gonna wait until, like, I'll pass by in that restaurant eventually in the future. And then I will have one, but... Girl, walking two blocks, bitch, that's so far. I can't. <clears throat> it's, th two blocks is far, isn't it? That's far. Girl, that's far, bitch. That's like 10 minutes. I think. <laughs> okay. I think two blocks is 10 minutes walk and that's not about to be me doing that walk girl i'd rather lay in bed bitch be on my you know youtube watching some league of legends replays and whatever i don't really go on social media a lot 
Hey girl, where is the best Filipino restaurant here in Ottawa? There is Tamas and there is Lola's. There's quite a few, but like those are like the two that like, I really like a lot. Girl, my face is so blurry, bitch. This blur effect, blur effect from NYX, like foundation, like tint foundation. Bitch, it's life saving. And then you top it with like the um, one size beauty um powder which is also has a blurring effect which is you look like a walking instagram filter period what's your fa flavor pronounce you got i like the prom i have the barbecue flavor i like the barbecue what's been your favorite drag race season of the year of the year probably season 15 i like season 15 a lot You see, you said League of Legends. What do you think of Briar? I think Briar is good for like, um, what do you call this? Like players that are like always full send and aggressive at like playing. Cause like, girl, when you press the W bitch, like there's no turning back. You know what I mean? Like you gotta full, like go in, go in, go in. You know what I mean? So yeah, but I think it's pretty fucking OP. But I think now that Briar is around, you know who's fucking OP about it? It's Silas. Because Silas just steals Briar's ult and do the f and then you build Silas AP bitch. Oh my god. I did it. Period. It was so good. Hi. Hello Katarina Jones. Do you play her bruiser or assassin? Hmm. Mainly bruiser. I think Briar was made to be bruiser. But assassin could be good too. But you have to land the ult properly though. Or else you're like an idiot. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have a question. I have a question, like fully, like I want you guys to answer this properly. If I were to ask you, when you watched my season, when you watched my season, what is one thing that I really need to change? If I'm going back to All Stars, what should I change? Tell me, bitch. I need to know, bitch. UK tour soon. Your mother teased it when she was on well. Yes. Shh. You guys heard it first. Nothing, you're perfect. Maybe drag the fiercest of drag race a little more, dog. Girl, you were so damn fierce, you really couldn't, could have won. I feel like I need to, okay, to me, coming back at it, I need to be good at English. And that way I'm good at like improv. Because <laughs> bitch, when it comes to improv, bitch, my English is not Englishing at all. Like I'm just like mentally blocked. Like I don't know what to fucking say. Because, like, if it's improv, I'm translating in my head the whole entire time. You know what I mean? And then I have to change my runway, for sure. But other than that, bitch, I slay the acting, bitch. I slay the comedy, bitch. I slay the dance, bitch. I slay the musical. It's just the runway and the improv. That was something missing. But you really can't be perfect, perfect anyway. You were great on your season. Maybe a little more camp or gowns. Less body suits. 
Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Like I feel like I feel like my runway. But here's the thing, bitch. I'm gonna admit it here. I haven't admitted it anywhere. Well, except except from like Twitter, but that was a long time ago. The reason why I wore a lot of bodysuits or bra and panties is because I personally thought that Asians wouldn't last in the competition. Because like usually that's how the Asian the Asian girls always get sent home early, bitch. Let's be for real. You said you could have won to bitch, however, you need to show more camp clown, I'd say. If you're natural here. Anyways, um, anyways. I admitted this because like the Asians usually don't last very long in the cast, bitch. So to me, I went on Drag Race by saying, I'm not going to invest so much money into this because if I go home early, how, but, how am I be able to pay all the money that I'm going to invest into my runways if I don't last very long? Because let's be for real, bitch. If you go home like first, second, third, you become irrelevant as fuck. You go back to your like, you go back to your like, you know what I mean? Like to your home bar. And like, how am I getting able to all the money that you spent? So like, I was like, I'm not going to spend so much money because I don't think I'm going to last very well, which is a really bad mindset. But like, it's becoming kind of like a pattern for Asian girls to not last. So that was in my head, like, hey, like if I don't do so great, <clears throat> at least I didn't invest money. But if I go so well, then at least like I don't owe anybody money. You know what I mean? And also, like, one of the reasons, too, is that, like, if I'm going to be in the bottom, it's easier for me to lip sync. And I can deliver a fucking performance. And didn't I? I fucking did, bitch. You're fucking welcome. So, that's one of the reasons. Those are the reasons, usually, why I wear all those clothes. But on All Stars, if I get a call for All Stars, you know I will pop off of the looks, bitch. Because the bottoms don't lip sync. So, I can wear the tallest fucking heels ever. The tightest motherfucking gowns ever. That I can't fucking move, bitch. So, watch. Because I'm like, bitch, if I get a fucking ulcer, I, I'm not even holding back. Trust me. I'm not even going to hold back. Anyways. That was my rant, or like, should I say like, literally what was running through my head when I was getting ready for Drag Race. And also, bitch, it was lockdown in Canada. And on top of that, there's a convoy going on in my city. So like, everything was like, closed. And I quit my government job that time. So like, I literally had $500 in my pocket when I got the call for Drag Race. And I was just like, bitch, let me just wear bra and panties. You know? It is what it is. And did she make it till the end? I'm so fucking lovely. Ever met a queen you were a super fan of? Am I disappointed in meeting them in person? Yes, a lot. But I don't want to name them. Would you do UK versus... UK or Canada versus the world? Or are you hoping? Hope you're hoping for global radio. You know what, bitch? I'll take whatever. At this point, you take whatever. You take whatever opportunity you can get, girl. Whatever they offer me. Because, like, you literally just gotta take whatever they offer. Because you don't know if you get offered again. You know what I mean? You don't know that. So if you get an offer, say yes. Just why, that's why Isis went back because like she got an offer she was like okay I need to expand she's like I have a chance to expand more of my audience and like you know I me mean? like everything so she took that chance but for me if whatever it was offered to me I will take it bitch number one rule never say no to world of wonder never Always say yes. I 
I'm spilling a lot of tea today, didn't I? It's the hormones. I just injected it today. Mm. How do you get a house of couture? Did you make it? Um, well, first of all, I was in a different house before. And then the mother was not mothering. <laughs> so I left. And um, Isis have always wanted me from the beginning. Even if when I was like before in a different house. And so when I left that house, I asked her, I like, do you still want to be my mother? Like, do you still want me to be your daughter? Because like, I'm open to that. And she was like, you're, a house, you're part of the house of couture now. So I became a couture. And like, I used to work with Isis in the same club. And, um, yeah. We've known each other for a while. The international queens you're hoping to compete against when you do go back. Hmm. I don't know, bitch. Anybody, bring it on. <clears throat> I'm not scared. No, fully. I'm not scared. No, I don't. I don't have anything in mind that I was like, specifically. It's like, I think I'm confident what I could bring in the competition. And I know what I'm capable of, so I feel confident. But if I really have to pick, I really want to lip sync against Georges, so I want Georges to be there, bitch. Because... Not that because, like, I want to beat her. It's because everyone keep fucking posting it. Like, they want to see a lip sync between me and Georges. <laughs> that it's just like, okay, let's just make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, let's just make it fucking happen. No boyfriend yet? I'm so fucking lonely not. Girl, boyfriend who? I don't have a boyfriend, girl. Although, maybe I'm looking for one. <laughs> who knows? <sighs> who, who is this? Yeah, I don't have a boyfriend. I don't know. It's not, really, it's not really my priority right now. What song would you want to go against George's to? Mmm. I want something fierce and cunt. There's a lot of options. Anything dancey, for, for sure, because we're both dancers. <laughs> 